I'm First Lieutenant John Butler. I'm the Senior Air Director and also the Operations Officer for Subic Bay, uh, the IFR de Detachment. Uh, so today we actually conducted one of our uh, METS McCree. So as I said, my, my role in the training that we accomplished today is the Operations Officer. So I did a lot of the planning and coordination before we actually came out to the Philippines, uh, as well as the Senior Air Director, who is essentially the radar supervisor uh, and can work with the controllers and the maintainers uh, to ensure we're properly uh, conducting operations here on the airfield. Uh, so operating here in the Philippines is very unique. Uh, we're operating with some of the host nation controllers. Uh, so we have liaison officers in the tower. We also have uh, a bunch of controllers down in Manila who are operating in kind of a joint environment. Um, we have uh, a lot of coordination that needs to happen, especially because it is not uh, U.S. airspace. So there's a lot of coordination and a lot of planning that needs to be done ahead of coming out here. And then once we're actually out in the Philippines, again, it's very hot, it's a very humid environment, so it prepares the Marines for uh, environments like that. So this training and Balakatan 23 is essentially an opportunity for us to work again with host nations. Uh, and also have the Marines come out, ex execute their uh, mission essential tasks, and be able to conduct um, their, their job and their uh, mission occupational specialty. So being able to come out and interact and uh, coordinate with the host nation and also uh, the Philippine Armed Forces, uh, it really provides us an opportunity to integrate and kind of uh, cross train with them, and it's, it makes us better in the long run. So coming out here and executing Balakatan, uh, this is one of the larger exercises uh, that we have throughout our, uh, our year, our annual training cycle. So Balakatan 23 is one of the largest uh, bilateral exercises the first Marine aircraft wing conducts uh, throughout the fiscal year. Uh, it allows us to interact with the host nation and the armed forces of the Philippines and it really allows us to prepare for future operations by integrating with them, coordinating with them, and training alongside them. So I'm, I'm a part of the air traffic control facility uh, and I bring out a capability that's very unique. Uh, so the uh, IFR DET, or the detachment, is essentially a radar system, a expeditionary radar system that provides air traffic control services in a degraded and austere environment. So we're essentially able to employ uh, ver using very little logistics uh, and able to provide a uh, radar that um, that location may not have. So it offers our aircraft in First Maw the ability to operate in areas where uh, usually they're not able to.